What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max is people know me in the real world, and today I'm bringing you guys a competitive S&D dubs match, and it's actually against the pro player Miracles, and I'm assuming a top AM player whose name is CloudBC, and the reason I say this is because uh, the Miracles has 12,000 pro points, so it's the real one, and then uh, the CloudBC guy, he is ranked Diamond, and he has 1,000 pro points or something like that. So that's why I'm saying he's probably a top AM. And um, basically, we played a best of three series against them, and I will bring you guys two of the gameplays from it. I will say that we did lose the overall match, but we did take at least one map from them. Well, only one map since we lost, since it's a best of three. But I'll bring you two gameplays. One of them I lost, but I still did fairly well, and I'm not going to tell you which one is the loss and which one's the win. Although you'll know after this one, but... Whatever, that's besides the point. Anyway, uh, real quick, before I get into the main topic, I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know, if you aren't aware, that I'm about to hit the 500 subscriber mark, and I thank you guys so much for that, but what I want to do for it is do a Q&A session video, and I'll put a gameplay to it, but I'll just be answering questions you guys send me, and so if you guys want to leave some comment or some questions in the comment section below, or if you want to tweet them at me, which is at flight underscore Mr. No Name. That would be great so that I can go ahead and get that video started. I, I'll probably try and upload that by Sunday or Tuesday of next week. So look forward to that. All right, so the main topic is how to find competitive teammates. And this was asked by somebody on YouTube and I, I couldn't find the comment. I just wrote it down on a notepad and I didn't write down the name of who asked it and I can't really find it. So if they would like to tell me who they are I will put them in the description below for um, asking me the question but before I really s tell you how I think it's important for me to share how I found my teammates and I found mine through league play and it, in Black Ops 2 and that was the way it was for me that's how I found all of my teammates for Black Ops 2 um, now right now though we have, I met Plizix through League Play, and then he found a friend at school to play, and then we got a former teammate of his now, which is hectic, so, and, and the friend from school is Quaddy, so that's how we got our teammates right now, and that doesn't always work out like that, but that, that's how it worked for us, and I know I'm, I'm kind of delaying the main topic again, but before I really say it, you know, if you are new to competitive, Try not to get too frustrated with this. It's going to be very, very hard for you to find a team because you don't have any credentials or anything. You don't have a rank, most likely, on MLG or PGL or any other site. You don't have tournament placings. And you're you're probably going to have to go through quite a few teams in the beginning and because you know, you'll know you'll get on a team and you'll make mistakes or you'll, you'll learn from your experiences and you'll figure out what to be looking for in teammates and whatnot when you're trying to get them. And you'll start to have teams that last longer and longer and are better and better. So that it's a process everybody has to go through. But getting into it, the ways to find teammates right now for Call of Duty Ghost, uh, the best way that I have found is probably through eights lobbies. And this is where you know you you can go to Twitter and look for people who are hosting eights, or you can go on the MLG forum. Sometimes they have them posted up there. And you just go in and play with random eight people, and you know you just random randomly assign teams, and you play competitive maps and rules and everything. And a lot of times, people in here, you know, they a lot of them just don't have their teammates on at the time, but a lot of them are also looking for teammates. That's kind of the reason they're doing the eights lobbies. So it's something to look for, and you can you can get picked up by playing eights sometimes, or at least you can get people interested. So that's probably the best way right now to do that the next best thing is playing as a pickup for a team and the way to do this would probably be you'd have to have some friends already who are in competitive but you're not or maybe you know them and you are already in competitive I don't know but you know if their fourth isn't on or they're on a vacation or something be like hey I can fill in for a night and then you know you could be noticed from that or you could be picked up it, it just depends the next probably best way is to play singles matches or 1v1 tournaments. And the tournaments, you know, you don't have to 
enter any paid ones. You can find free ones as well, like on Twitter and stuff. And the reason I say this is a lot of the people doing these 1v1s are actually free agents or are looking for teammates. I've gotten a lot of requests from playing singles to be on somebody's team ladder or on their dubs team. So, you know, you can definitely find people there. Although you will also find a lot of people who are just raging and stuff. I would usually let them contact you about it. If they're like, hey, you know, you're really good. Would you want to be picked up maybe then, you know, then you can respond to them. But don't be asking about it because people are going to get pretty mad about it. Like, they're going to be mad that they lost. Or if they won, they may not even consider you at all. So, you just got to be careful with that. The next thing to do is use Twitter. Twitter is your friend. Um, you don't have to have a large account. You can just tweet out to several retweeters like Gamer Retweets or Sean Abner or OG Legalize, I believe, is his um, Twitter account. And, you know, those, those kind of people will retweet for you. And people are looking at those tweets specifically to find free agents a lot of times. And so you can manage to be picked up or tried out fairly easily sometimes and it can be hard to find teams on there because you'll you may not work well together or you may be in the wrong time zone or whatever but you can you can definitely find people by doing it and then the next best thing would be to um find friends from school I'm sorry I, I had to look at my list there for a second you can find friends from school I don't really recommend this though even though we've got a friend from school on on our team it sometimes doesn't work the the if there's a personal issue going up sometimes it doesn't work out as well you know in real life it's a lot easier to fight than over the internet I find it, you're around them more so just be careful about that and then probably the worst way of the best ways if that makes sense is to post up on MLG free agents and um, you know your name usually gets lost in the long list and a lot of the people on there aren't really serious about it or anything so you know it's it's usually not the best place I would I don't look at MLG free agents at all to try and find it but uh, yeah that's that's the ways to find teammates so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't let me know that I can do better in the comment section below constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time, everybody, peace out.